Do you know what Islam is? It's a Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back after this break. I hope you had a really long break and you uh, enjoyed seeing the commercials that we had that reminded you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that reminded you of the du'as that we need to say throughout the day and throughout the night. Now here with me, I have a brother, an amazing brother that I met here at Isna, Barakallahu Fi, who's ready to recite some Quran for us. His name is Brother Jameel. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Jameel. Salam. How old are you, Jameel? I'm 15. 15? MashaAllah. Uh, do we look at, like we're the same age? Yeah. They're saying no. Allah al -Mustan. So uh, do I look old? <laughs> Allah al -Mustan. But inshaAllah ta'ala, now, Brother Jamil, if I understand properly, you've memorized the Quran, MashaAllah Ta'ala. And how long did it take for you to memorize the Quran? About two and a half years. MashaAllah. And what school did you study in? Um, in Tawheed Center. It's in Farmington Hills. The Tawheed Center in Farmington Hills. So your teacher was Brother... Brother Abdul... What's his name? There's, there's like five teachers there. Um, my teacher was Hafid Hassan. Hafid Hassan. Yeah. Barakallah fi. And... Uh, and what what amazed you the most about memorizing the Quran? Um, it's like it's really hard at first, but in the end, you like you like feel like really accomplished, and it's like a really good feeling. That's it. So, what you're saying is that in the beginning, it's extremely difficult. At some points, yes, it's really difficult. And after you pass this difficulty it's like it's like passing through a wall and then everything is just it just opens up for you is that right it's like a relief like finally i finished yeah. mashallah ta'ala and everyone has a favorite surah or at least a couple of favorite surahs what would you say your most favorite surah is i like surah fatiha um surah nas the short surahs mainly you know <laughs> mashallah so I'm going to pick at your brain a little bit. Have you studied any of the Tajweed rules before? Yes. MashaAllah Ta'ala. Are you familiar with the terminologies of the Tajweed rules? I, like, some I kind of forgot, but I know them, like, when I'm reading the Quran, but I kind of forgot the names just a little, because I did it, uh, the Tajweed rules a long time ago. Okay, okay inshallah. So, so we'll try to stick to the basics, right? Or we'll have some of the audience try to answer us, inshallah. Okay, now. One of the rules that we went off, that we went over in our last episode last week was the letters of the noon, the sukun, and the tanwin, which is split into how many? Four. Okay. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Four rules. Split into four rules. So you have the first rule, which is the iqlab, and that's when you have the little meme on top of the noon. It's like, mm, right? The second one is when you take the noon and you put it into the next letter. Like, right? And the third one is when you make it hard. It's like when you say, and you show the noon as is. And the fourth one is when you make the noon lighter. Like, so what I want you to do, because I love this surah, it's one of my favorite surahs, surahs al zalzala. I want you to recite it, inshallah ta'ala, and try to apply the, letter, the letters of noon as sakina and the sanween. All right? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يصدر الناس أشتات يروا أعمالهم فمن يعمل مثقال ذرة خيرا يره ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شرا يره ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك now how, I, I noticed that, mashallah ta'ala, you applied every last one of those l letters of the noon, sakina, and the tanween, right? So the first one was, إِذَا زُزِلَتْ الْأَرْضُ زَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجَتْ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ 
Insano. Insano. You guys, you guys notice how he made that like a lot lighter? He didn't just say Insano. It was Insano. Yo, my E. يوم إذ ترد في الأرض يوم إذ تحدث أخبارها the same thing ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك you have a good teacher ما شاء الله تعالى can I be your student الله أكبر now how many people did you have in your school there's about like thirty in total but like a rough roughly ten people come every year so it grows even more so you have about 30 this year and next year you're expecting maybe 40 or 50 mashallah ta'ala tell me a little bit about the program and how what it took for you to memorize the quran because there's a lot of people right now watching hundreds of thousands or millions of people watching um and they want to memorize the quran and that's why they're watching the show and they not only do they want to memorize the quran but they just don't know how to they've never gone through a program there's nobody in the area to help them so maybe you telling them what you've gone through can help them out a little bit inshallah ta'ala so that you can learn inshallah ta'ala using the same method being consistent understanding that the beginning is going to be hard but you're going to pass it inshallah ta'ala so tell me what would happen when you first came into your quran class on a daily basis what did you do well, it was a six-day week program, and it was about maybe five hours a day. And basically, you would memorize whatever you had to learn, like maybe a page or so. And you, you would have to review at least a juzza every day, because you want to keep it fresh in your mind. And so you what's don't a juzza? It's basically, there's 30 juz in the Qur'an. So the Qur'an is divided into yeah. 30 parts, right? Yeah. And... Um, it's like 30 chapters, basically. 30 chapters. So one chapter is approximately how many pages? Like 20. Depends About 20 on your pages. Quran. Okay, it depends on your Quran. Yeah. Some of them are 30. Yeah. Are anywhere between 20 and 30 pages, right? Yes. So you would you would you would recite an entire 20 pages with your, uh, by memory to your teacher. Yeah. Mashallah. And this was the first thing you did when you came in. No, you had some time to review, and you could review at home because it's not like an easy thing to just review it right on spot. But um, yeah, and uh, yeah. What about the people who didn't have uh, an entire just memorized an entire portion of the Quran memorized that was 20 pages? So you just like start from the basics. You learn it. You uh, page by page. You come every day, and the, what you said previously, you you say that little part. Maybe if it's 10 pages, 15 pages, you still review that every day to uh, teach it. Mashallah. So whatever it is that you memorize. As soon as you come in, you recite it to your teacher. How long does it take you to recite that entire 20 pages? Or how long does it take for the teacher to get all of the students? Those 30 students. How long does it take for the teacher to get those 30 students uh, all recited on? Well, we have a five-hour day thing. So, so whenever the student's ready, they usually just come up. And we get it done. Um, everyone usually comes up. It's not really a setup thing. Like, the student does have to come at a certain time. It's whenever he's ready. Whenever he's ready. So it's more like at your own pace type of learning inside the school. Okay, so after you've recited your previous juz, your previous part, what's next? Um, well, we have to perfect it. So, like, at least one mistake, you say it to your teacher, and um, if you get more than one mistake, you have to keep doing it until you perfect it and make it, like, perfect, and then you can move on to the next juz. So you have to do it without no stuttering, no mistakes, no exceptions, no excuses, period. That's the end of the sentence. So, and subhanAllah, this is amazing because people all over the world are doing this, are memorizing the Quran and reciting it to their teachers every day. So uh, let's, say you, let's say after you went to your teacher and you tried and then you came back and you failed and then you tried again and then you got it. Eventually you got it to where you're not making any mistakes on that one part, which is about 20 to 30 pages. What's next? Well, then uh, you just move on to the next jizz and you go from there. But um, So how much would you memorize in a day, memorization-wise? Because we talked about review in the beginning. So how much would you memorize in a day? Well, at first it's kind of hard. You start off maybe like five lines, ten lines. But the further you get, it's easier for you to memorize. So by the end of my uh, hips, I was doing... What does hips mean? Uh, it's That's what we call the school. Like... Like Hafiz, you know, you get hips, and like it's basically the 
I, I consider it like the act of memorizing the Quran. Act of memorizing the Quran. So hif means to memorize or to protect, right? So like the Arabs would say, hafadha ala shay, right? He protected something. He held it closely. So hif would mean to memorize or to protect it. So you are literally a protector of the Quran. You have a noble, uh, you have a noble status now. You are a protector of the word of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Subhanallah, isn't that amazing? So what would once you uh, how much would you memorize uh, in a day and how would that go um during, at the like like i said i would uh, when i started i did like five ten lines but during the end i would probably memorize like maybe two and a half pages a day and it would take me about like two and a half pages yeah in one hour yeah or now mashallah mashallah and you can just memorize two and a half pages how many how many words do you say approximately would be two and a half pages maybe like 150 150 words so perhaps our neuroscientists should probably study the art of memorizing the quran to help increase in, the, in our memory because you're we're working parts of our memory that many people aren't working the art of memorizing right subhanallah so you have two and a half pages that you're memorizing in a day one day and each part is approximately 20 pages right so that means in less than 10 days you're memorizing an entire part is that correct yes yes yeah, it is. mashallah ta'ala so at that rate let's say you memorize 10 days in in 600 in uh i'm sorry 300 days about a year and so that's not including breaks and vacations and summers and all of that in about a year and a half so if you added everything about two two and a half years you would have memorized the entire quran mashallah yes. and that's what you did yeah but you've got to be like dedicated you can't slack off it's a full-time thing now a lot of people think that going to quran school is this very horrible dirty rigid environment where nobody has any fun and there's no such thing as laughing and it's ah, you read everything is haram is that really what goes on no, I mean, we have like breaks, we get recess, we, we're allowed to talk to people during lunch. I think it's pretty fun. It's, um, it's like a fun environment, you know? And you don't have to worry about girls taking you off of the, your, 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 your subject, and you don't have to worry about, you know, you, when, it's time to, when it's time to play sports, you're there to play sports, right? And you're allowed to play sports, right? And, and mashallah, see, you're, you're allowed to have fun. You're allowed to, you guys have pizza parties, and you guys have uh, get-togethers and camps, and you go out, right? And you do a lot of fun stuff. Is it, it's not just in a small dark room with a candle, and, you know, they, they beat you, and they're like, Haram. it's not like that, is it? No, it's, um, it's, there's serious mode, but there's also a mode, you can also have fun. It's not just serious, serious, serious. You know? So it's not what people perceive about the, the, the Quran environment, the way other people, the other media outlets, without us mentioning any names, portray the Islamic environment where, every, where everything is haram, haram, haram. This is not how it is, is it? Well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here on the show. Recite on TV, inshallah ta'ala. Recite on TV, and I want you to watch it when you go home. Tell your friends about it, uh, because they can call in and we'll correct their tajweed during normal weekdays or weekends from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., inshallah ta'ala. Brother Jamil, as we say, before we always leave our program, and by the way, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, having you here on the show and I look forward to inshallah ta'ala possibly uh, having you on the show uh, once again maybe you and your school or you and your friends inshallah ta'ala that being said at the end of every show we always ask people to try to donate as much as possible bidnillah ta'ala or support morally or support most importantly by making your dua and at the end of every show we always end with and remember get guided with guide us TV. Jazakum Allah khair. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Do we need Guide Us TV?